Hello, Morocco. Kamal Haras is a Moroccan influencer who hails from McNess and has inspired many young Moroccans in the short time he's been active on YouTube and Instagram and speaking at conferences across the country. I had the privilege of interviewing Kamal in Casablanca. I wanna share our conversation and the five most important lessons Kamal gave that you can use on your journey to success. Kamal and I met up at Sushi Town, a hip new restaurant in Marif in Casablanca. Now here's the five lessons Kamal gave. Number one, step out of your comfort zone. Kamal is from McNess, he finished his back and then he moved to Rabat and studied statistics there. So I was born and raised there, uh, finished high school and then I went to Rabat, which is the capital, yeah. to do my um, bachelor degree in statistics. Okay. I think my journey started when I, when I lived my parents' uh, house, yeah. uh, when, I, when I found myself by myself. Uh, this was a big step. Though he was still a short train ride from home, he moved away from his parents and this gave him some freedom and some independence and stretched him out of his comfort zone. But after a while, he became comfortable in Rabat and he was ready for another challenge or another experience. First station was Montreal, as, in, as a French speaker. That's right, <laughs> that's a good introduction. Definitely, to the North of America. Montreal was a brand new country and culture. It was a radical step that stretched Kamal out of his comfort zone. But it was still French speaking, and after a while, he was comfortable again and ready for another challenge and a new experience. So I, I, must, ha I must be in an uncomfortable zone. Okay. So I, I just don't enjoy being in a comfortable zone at all. The next uh, stage was going to Ontario. I left everything, my apartment, my, my permanent job in downtown Montreal. This was another radical step. Now he's living in the Anglophone world. Still a big city, so it's still possible to find some couscous, have some tagine, but it's a big step out of his comfort zone. Once again, Kamal was comfortable and ready for another step and that led him to a small town called Cambridge, Ontario. You know, when they moved to, to Galt, everybody knew that a Moroccan guy moved to Galt. <laughs> so yeah. Did and you move into the Moroccan neighborhood? They don't have a Moroccan <laughs> neighborhood yet. You see, growth happens when we stretch ourselves. Now that doesn't mean you have to leave your city or you have to leave your country. Stretching yourself just means going outside of the situations and the activities that you're comfortable in. In order to expand your, your experience, your capacities, and your knowledge. Now this can be scary, but this is a channel devoted to personal development. And so if you wanna grow, you've gotta be willing to make the leap. As Kamal once said, the magic happens when we jump outside of the box. Number two is spend time alone. And in Cambridge, at Cambridge, Ontario, I discovered something that we call the power of solitude. Now being the only Moroccan in a small town, being the new guy, it took time for Kamal to build up some community. So what did he do while he was waiting to make friends? Did he play video games? No. Did he spend time staring at his phone? No. Did he watch series? No. He invested this season of solitude into learning and self-reflection. He spent time walking in the forest. He spent time reading books, mountain biking, journaling, thinking. He benefited from the solitude and the self-reflection. Get to know yourself before trying to know anybody else. Focus on yourself instead of focusing on others. Yeah. Uh, this is very important, especially right now. Can you see how powerful spending time alone has been for Kamal? He's an inspiring figure for many of us in Morocco, but he gets his inspiration through solitude, through spending time alone. Number three is read. One of my favorite authors is Dr. Zeus, and he said, the more that you read, the more you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. And Kamal is a living evidence of this quote. I really hope to see a new uh, Moroccan generation who are readers. Kamal is dreaming of this next generation becoming readers. 
becoming people that are committed to learning and who desire to soak their minds in the greatest ideas we've ever had. Reading helps you to connect the ideas in your mind, to come up with a new creative idea. You know, when I'm reading, I can connect the ideas. It's like, yeah, well, I have a new idea. Right. So all, pretty much all my successful videos on YouTube, they were inspired from reading. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. yeah, this is a good thing to talk about. Yeah. So, yeah, it, give it a try. Yeah. There's no question that reading is a powerful part of personal development. Kamal shows that if you want to learn, if you want to develop yourself, you've got to spend time with books. If you want more resources related to reading, check all the links I put in the description. Number four, give without expectations. You will never go wrong in your life by treating people right or by giving good values to people without waiting for anything back, without having any expectations. The feedbacks are always great. Kamal started offering free digital marketing advice to some of the businesses he frequented in his small town, the coffee shop, the bike shop, and the owners could see that his advice was benefiting them. People noticed that he was giving them value. They noticed that he had a positive energy and they encouraged him to share it with a wider audience. People, they always told me, Kamal, you have a positive energy. Mm. Why not to share it with people? Kamal, you have a positive energy. Why not to share it with people? Yeah. So I was like, yeah, why not to do it? And the best way to do it right now is by creating a, a YouTube channel. Kamal started his YouTube channel 18 months ago, making videos for Moroccans. He's always posting wisdom and, and quotes and positive energy in his Insta stories. And he's been speaking at conferences across the country, traveling even to Dakhla. He's offering tremendous amounts of value, but he's giving it without expectation of anything in return. Maybe one day down the road, there'll be some financial benefits, there'll be some rewards, but Kamal is willing to give without expectations. Even agreeing to do this interview with me, I'm not paying him. He's sharing his time, sharing his expertise because he's generous, because he cares, because he wants to make a difference in Morocco. He wants to have an impact on young people. You know, it reminds me of something Jesus said. If you love those who love you, or you do good to those who do good to you, or you lend money to someone you know will repay you, well, what credit is that to you? Everyone does that, even sinners do that. But if you give without any expectations of receiving, God will reward you. Number five is stay humble. Kamal has enjoyed some great success in Morocco. Some of his videos have received over 100,000 views. He gets invited to speak at conferences. Everything he posts gets a lot of feedback and a lot of engagement. It would be easy to let his head grow too big. But I love Kamal's maturity to recognize the dangers of his ego, to make sure he keeps a level head, to make sure his motives stay pure and that he doesn't compromise his values. There is this little ego who's controlling us. I thought that I killed my ego, but once I came back to Morocco and I saw the impact that I had, I was like, oh boy, this is amazing. So my ego started like controlling me a bit. I have to watch myself. You what know. do you mean, watch yourself? Watch myself means like, I gotta do it for- your on your phone? No, <laughs> no, I gotta watch myself, which means know that I'm doing it for the right uh, Yes. You know. Yeah. You this know. Goes back to what you said about you know watching your ego. Exactly. For and the not right reasons. Your values. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's so hard to build, but it's so okay. easy to destroy. Kamal spent a lot of time in solitude. He knows who he is, and he desires to stay humble. So let's recap the five lessons we can learn from Kamal. Step out of your comfort zone. Spend time alone. Read give without expectations, and stay humble. If you apply these lessons, they will greatly help you on your pathway to success. Special thanks to Kamal for this collaboration. I can't wait to work with you again, whether in Canada or here in Morocco. And special thanks to our hosts, Sushi Town. 
Be sure to check out their Instagram, scroll through. I guarantee your mouth will water while you look at the pictures of the delicious food there. All right, Morocco, until next time, get wisdom. <laughs>